basically we're at the Viva uh, Tire of the Upstate. It's a recycling tire type center and all that. Uh, it closed down back in 2017. It originally started up in 2014. Uh, before that, it was called Anderson Tire Recycling, which was, like I say, back before 2014. Uh, there is a tire lamp monofill on the, the property. And basically, we, we worked with DHEC over the last few years trying to get money to clean this property up. It's a fire hazard, a mosquito hazard. Uh, you have homeless folks coming through. You have homeless coming through. We've actually had four fires down here. Two were structural. Uh, two were actually tires themselves. It basically took uh, the two tire fires took 24 hours to put out with the assistance of Home Park Fire Department, other fire departments in the area. It was 10 fire departments on both of those fires. People who don't understand it, explain why these are a mosquito problem and a fire hazard tires. People don't, people don't think about those things. Well, of course, tires are made out of oil base and petroleum type product and all that. So when they catch on fire, they, they, they can really, uh, really flame up. And it's a, it's a danger to the community. The tires hold water. And anytime you hold in water and stagnant water and all that, mosquitoes breathe in that. So that was a major issue there. And there's also a, a gas line on the other side uh, that runs through the property. So we have to consider that also. So the county's been working on this a long time to get this taken care of, haven't you? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's been, ever since 2017, uh, it's been talked about uh, the last two years we've really worked hard and getting the money from DHEC. Uh, we have a $2 million grant right now to be cleaning up on the property. Not to say that's gonna clean the whole thing up, but uh, we are definitely uh, working toward to get it cleaned up. We're working with uh, SNME uh, Engineering. They're, they're helping us out with uh, some things from the stormwater standpoint, the cleaning up the project. And, also, and we're also using a, a company called CCI that is hauling the, the uh, materials off to two different landfills, one being Twin Chimneys, and one being in Homer, Georgia, to get this material off and handle it safely. Do you have any idea how long this might take to get this all done? We're hoping to be done in three months, but it's three to four months probably. And just depends on weather and things of that nature. And what will this property be usable as once it's all cleaned up? Right now we're just looking at uh, getting it cleaned up, grassing it over, and uh, taking care of it that way right now. Uh, anything else will be determined later. And so the county owns this now? The county does not own it. The county is actually cleaning it up and putting a lien on the property so nobody can develop it or anything until uh, we decide what needs to be done with it. Well, you're talking about DHEC and people cleaning it up. What, I guess the the residue and all makes it hazardous is one of the things they got to do testing and all for? I just want to make sure I understand it. Yeah, I mean, basically, like I said, the, the tires themselves are a fire hazard. So being a fire hazard like that, uh, it can spread across the road uh, into the community and things of that nature. So that's that's the dangerous part about it. Uh, you still have to look at groundwater issues and things like that uh, to see if that needs to be tested and and checked out. So we're we're working on that. You're talking about the, this has been a tire uh, recycling landfill for a long time. Do you have an idea how many tires or, or shreds of tires are still out here? Basically, looking at the waste tires, there's like 3,500 tons on top of the ground. There's about 5,000 tons estimated to be underneath the ground. So you've got about 8,500 tons on the whole property. How many tires in a ton? You got any idea? Oh, not sure. Probably, I want to say 200 and something. Wow. So it's a mess. It is a mess. But it, gonna, It's but unique. I I've never seen one like it. And uh, a lot of folks that have come in have not seen a, a cleanup of this nature. But Anderson County is committed to getting it cleaned up. We are committed to get it cleaned up as quick as possible.